Nasdaq is making more moves in the crypto space. Hyundai and IBM team up for a blockchain project, and JP Morgan is releasing its own coin. Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure you hit the subscribe and also notifications button so you don't miss an episode. I'm Edward, and we're going to be bringing you the news from the world of crypto now three times a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. If you're in Los Angeles, each episode will be live at 2 p.m. your time. If you're in New York, it's a 5 p.m. start time for you. And if you're across the Atlantic over in London, the show will launch at 10 p.m. for you. Enjoy today's episode. Twelve Romanian nationals have been extradited to the U.S. to face charges after a multi-year investigation snapped shut on an extensive array of scam operations, all hinging on cryptocurrency transfers. All told, 15 Romanian nationals and one Bulgarian were charged with 24 counts including RICO conspiracy, wire fraud conspiracy, money laundering conspiracy, and aggravated identity theft. The charges indicate that millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin were stolen in these scams, although firmer numbers are not forthcoming. Coming. The schemes mostly involved advertising fake merchandise such as cars to unwitting victims and crafting elaborate fake personas or even impersonating real ones and using credentials to lure people into sending Bitcoin payments to the overseas scammers. The report indicated that the scammers often adopted personas of U.S. military members, presumably to appear more trustworthy. It'll be interesting to see in the future what other countries collaborate when it comes to blockchain law enforcement. Police in Australia have recently raided the home of a cryptocurrency miner. In the process, the authorities appear to have damaged the actual house. And according to the trader, they have not clarified who's paying for the actual damage. According to a local media outlet, the cryptocurrency miner is now considering legal action as the police force their way into the home, causing many damages, only to find a small cryptocurrency mining operation. The Australian police raided the man's home thinking he was actually growing weed, but he was just mining a bit of cryptocurrency. NASDAQ, the second largest stock market in the world, will bolster its crypto offering with a new Bitcoin and Ethereum tracking indices on the 25th of February this year. The indices will offer real-time price updates in 30-second intervals on the two cryptocurrencies for clients using NASDAQ's Global Index Data Service. The two indices are the Bitcoin Liquid Index and the Ethereum Liquid Index. Both the product of the firm Brave New Coin, its Bitcoin Liquid Index and Ethereum Liquid Index, are each designed to provide a real-time spot or reference rate for the price of one Bitcoin and one Ethereum, respectively, quoted in U.S. dollars, and based on the most liquid ends of their markets. Will this lead to an increase in the number of people who trade Bitcoin? Hyundai announced that they are working with IBM to advance their cloud-based AI and blockchain technology with the aim to improve consumer experience and expand their financial services business globally. They introduced an AI-based chatbot for customer service named Hyundai Car Buddy that engages with customers to answer a few common questions quickly. The system consistently learns through interactions with its users, and since it depends on the natural language progressing, as well as machine learning technology from IBM Watson, this chatbot is able to comprehend the hidden meaning, interpret questions, and give answers and information to enhance the client experience and streamline customer service operations. Hyundai commercially, additionally, is collaborating with IBM to apply blockchain and modernize its business model. What other major corporations will use blockchain next? bank in the United States and the sixth largest bank in the world is JP Morgan Chase and they will become the first US bank to launch their own cryptocurrency. The crypto asset will be called JPM Coin and will purportedly be used to increase settlement efficiency within three of the banking giant's own operations with plans to expand to more operations throughout time. With JPM Coin International payments can be settled in real time at any time of the day. This is a major advantage over traditional systems as institutions from different countries often have different cutoff times for transactions and operate using different systems. It's important to keep in mind that the people at JP Morgan had called Bitcoin a scam in the past and now they have their own cryptocurrency. Let's see how well their project works and how it's received in the greater crypto community. Many thanks for tuning into today's video. If you have any questions on cryptocurrency or this video in particular, 
support, just drop us a line in the comments below. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, take it easy.